everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and as you guys can probably tell right now just by looking at this, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and connect your computer to your television. So, you guys can see here I've got my MacBook over there, and then I've got my big screen TV right here, and it's got my uh, Mac screen on it, and I'm actually using my TV as my main monitor, and I'm using my Mac as my secondary monitor. So, uh, yeah, so you can probably tell I've got my dock and my menu bar and my desktop icons on the big screen, and i got my little screen over there, and uh, I can basically use the big screen as my main TV monitor. And I've also got a little app running on my iPhone right here called Hippo Remote, which I've covered in a previous video, which lets me control the mouse of the main window. So as you guys can see, I can open up like let's say Firefox, I can open Firefox up and uh, I can pretty much browse the web do everything I want to and uh, the cool thing about the uh, Hippo Remote app which I've got this thing connected to is that I can uh, use a keyboard on it. So uh, this isn't going to necessarily be a video to show off Hippo Remote but uh, this here on the remote if I press the keyboard button and uh, I go ahead and type something. So let's type into Google uh, Nick W324, not 323, as you notice, everything comes up. It really, really works. And so then I can, uh, I can flip the thing, go back to trackpad, and then start clicking around. So I'm not going to show you guys how you can control your computer from your iPhone like I've got here, because uh, I've already covered that in a video. But today I'm just going to give you guys the uh, little heads up on how to go ahead and uh, control your uh not to control, how to view the screen of your computer onto your TV or use your TV as a monitor. So, what you will need for this is you will need, of course, a computer, which I've got right there, and you also need a TV, of course. Now, you'll have to make sure your TV has got a VGA port or a DVI or an HDMI port or whatever your monitor is. Since uh, I had an extra VGA cable laying around, I picked up the VGA cable and I plug it into the back of the computer and uh, I plug it into the TV as well. So uh, since I have a Mac, I needed a mini display to DV to uh, VGA port. But uh, if you have anything else, then just go ahead and plug your display in. But uh, my the TV back here had a VGA and an HDMI port, so I could use this with either an HDMI cord or a VGA cord. So, but my laptop didn't have an HDMI port. So basically, what I did was I took the VGA cable from the um, from the computer, plug it into the back of the TV, and then plug it into the Mac, and then it just set up like a normal dual monitor setup. Now the color on the TV was a little screwed up. I had to go ahead and fix this. But if we just go ahead and grab our remote. As you see here, standard TV remote. What I did is, uh, this will work different on different TVs, but if you go to menu, it'll bring up the menu options on the TV. Then you just need to go to your picture settings. So let me just uh, zoom in here. So I went to menu and then picture settings. Once on picture settings, I scrolled around to screen, clicked enter, and then I changed my screen resolution. So I've got the screen resolution right now to 1360 by 768 which is the uh, current resolution of this. You could have it as a uh, 1280 by 768 or pretty much anything by 768. You can go ahead and uh, check out all of these resolutions right there. And basically once you have your resolution set, you can go ahead and feel free to use your computer, your uh, TV as either a secondary monitor or your main monitor. As you can probably see here, let me just zoom out. I'm using my TV as my main monitor and my Mac basically uses a little hub station so I can use the TV as the main monitor. And uh, pretty much that's it. I just wanted to go ahead and share that little bit with you guys. And uh, this wasn't really a really good video, but I just wanted to share that with you. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.